Hey everybody, I am Max and I'm here at UCLA's Animation Workshop uh, and today we're going to do some animation. So um, for our final assignment in the fall quarter of the Animation Workshop, we had to do a 15 second film uh, and the only catch is that it had to be done by hand. So you couldn't do anything digital, uh, you couldn't do anything on the computer. Um, and so, you know, you could do paper cutouts or you could do, uh, you know, hand-done animation. So I chose to do a scene from a larger story that I've been working on called Martha. Uh, and in this scene, there's a young woman named Roxy who uh, is a cam girl, OnlyFans kind of thing and um, she, she's on her computer and it's, it's done from the perspective of her webcam. Uh, and she's on her computer, uh, she is you know, chatting with people or whatever, and then she starts doing kind of like a sexy dance thing. Uh, and then someone, Martha, uh, an older woman, walks in on her uh, and catches her by surprise. And that's it, it's 15 seconds, uh, no sound or anything. And um, so the first thing I did, uh, the first thing you do in any animation is a storyboard. Uh, so I did um, about five, I think about five boards for it. Uh, it was, you know, one shot, so it was fairly simple. Uh, and from storyboard, um, you know, this is just figuring out, uh, you know, the, the, the basic, uh, you know, beats of what this is going to be. From there, you take it into a layout, uh, and this is taking essentially your, your composition from the storyboard, getting it onto animation paper, and figuring out exactly where things are going to be. Um, and in this stage, you're also plotting out your keyframes. Uh, and so for any good animation, you want to shoot reference. Uh, I shot some reference of myself acting, acting, uh, acting this out. Uh, and I used that as a, a base of, um, you know, how I was going to figure out what poses I was going to do. Um, and, uh, you know, really locking down the motion of, of what this is going to be. So from, once you're done with layout and figuring out your key poses, you get into animation. And this is really the meat and potatoes of the animation. This is where you're doing the animating. Uh, so here you're drawing on 12 field size uh, animation paper, and this is punched at the bottom with Acme punch, uh, Acme hole punches. And um, you are uh, rolling with your hand and you're using the light box. You're just making sure that every frame moves into the next frame and it looks good. Um, and while you're animating, a very important step is taking it into the pencil test room and, uh, you know, testing it. So it's, a, it's like a mini down shooter in there that you take it in there, uh, you put it on there, you, you um, shoot it, you time it out, uh, and you just make sure that it's working. Once you're done with animation, uh, you do ink and paint. Uh, now, in ink and paint, I was really excited to work with cell vinyls, with, with these animation cells, because it's just something that you don't really get to do these days. Um, and this involves putting a clear animation cell on top of uh, your drawing and tracing over it uh, with ink. And only a couple of types of ink actually work on these things. Everything else just slicks right off of it. So I had to use uh, these pens called Rapidograph pens, and they utilize India ink. Uh, to get very fine lines, very consistent line work uh, for the animation. So they work really well for this. Um, and then once you're done inking, you flip the animation cell over and you paint on the back of it. Um, now for this, we just use regular acrylic paint and I mixed it myself to get the colors that I needed. Uh, they do make specialized animation paint, but um, they, that stuff these days is like really hard to find. Uh, so, you know, just in the interest of uh, getting it done, I just used uh, regular acrylic paint that you can buy anywhere. Um, and painting was a very laborious process of, uh, you know, getting the, um, the paint on there in different layers and, and different colors. Um, so I would paint like a big swath of, you know, the skin tone. You have to let that dry before you can get to the next color. Uh, because if you don't let it dry, then you try to paint the next color on and then it just all like smushes together and that's not going to work. So um, that took a while just because you're like painting and then you're waiting for things to dry and then you're painting on top of that and it's just this constant back and forth. And then once it's all painted and done and you have your background and it's all lined up and it's looking good, you take it to the uh, animation crane and you shoot it. Um, and our animation crane setup here 
uh, is a very old school thing. It's got um, it, it's got a camera on the top of it, uh, and you push the button thing down with your foot, and the uh, animation cell plate goes on top of it, and you shoot it. Um, the camera is hooked up to a computer that puts the frames together, and you can export it into different formats. So here it is, my short film, Martha. So all in all, um, I had a lot of fun with this assignment. Uh, it was a lot of work. Um, you know, the cell painting and the inking was, was brutal. Um, but, you know, I, I thought it'd be fun to put this video together to kind of give you guys a behind the scenes look at some of the stuff I'm working on. Uh, maybe you've never seen this kind of animation process before. And, um, you know, I thought it could be interesting for some of you that might be interested in animation. Um, and yeah, you know, let me know if you guys want to see more of this kind of content. Um, thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll see you guys next time.